Okay, class. We start our lesson now. Nah. Good evening, everyone. This is a uh, form four Monday group. Okay, so nice to meet everyone again here. Huh? Uh, I'm sure everyone already know, right? Your school exam uh, will be held once you all go back to school. You know, that mean uh, by January. January, everyone go back to school, right? Immediately, uh, you will have your exam. The Form 4 final year exam will be held next January. So, meaning that, uh, you all must get ready also, you know. Even during holiday, try to find time to revise all your paper, all your topics. Uh, uh. Because starting 20th January, when you go back to school, most probably our uh, first day or second day, they will start already your exam. Okay? So, must be well prepared. Uh. Everyone uh, remember that. Uh. Okay. And then for tonight, so I want to finish up the last set of paper. Okay? Question 22. So, I share with you the paper now. Uh, so, you see the paper now. Question 22, okay, it's here. Can you see the paper? Herman, can you see the paper? Herman, uh, Justin, can you see the paper? Okay. Then, uh, okay, question 22. Okay, please take out your paper. If you don't have a paper with you now, uh, this last set of paper not finished yet now. Okay. Question 22. Look at the paper, everyone. Figure show the position of an object and the image formed by plane mirror. Okay. So, of course, first thing, you draw the diagram now. Okay. The method of drawing the diagram, uh, you should know. Uh, okay. So, this is an object. So, actually, uh, you can uh, use an easier, easier method to do. Uh, Use a ruler, draw this line and this line. Then from here, connect to object, connect to object and put up the arrow, this all. Okay, to get a more accurate drawing, you do like this. Huh? Use a ruler. From here, like, you draw this straight line. Straight, but here, make sure it's dot, dot, dot. Huh? And here, another line, go into the eyes. So you draw one. Two, these two lines first, and then only you connect one here, connect another one here. This is a normal line. So once you completed already, that so it's very clear. You can see from here, the light from the object hit the mirror and then reflected. The light from the object hit the mirror get reflected, but your eyes see in a straight line. So your eyes always see the object here, lah. So this is an image, okay. So please complete your diagram now. Uh, you can use a shortcut method line as I told you just now like that. Huh? You draw these two straight line first. Okay. And then only draw these two. Okay. Like that, huh? your diagram will be more accurate. Done or not, everyone? Sao Kang? Ung Sao Kang, ah. can you hear me? Ah? Ung Sao Kang? Can. Can, ah? Okay. Vivian, can you hear me? Ah, Vivian? Yes, sir. Have we finished the diagram, Vivian? Done. Okay, good. Okay, ah? Then we move to next question. Our next question will be long questions, okay? Okay, come, question 24. Okay, let's look at a table first, huh? okay? Object placed at a distance U from the concave mirror. This is concave mirror. Paper show the characteristics. Okay, ah. Uh. 
One part of the thing given can be here, same sign, you see, uh, when the object distance 30 cm, you get same size image. Few weeks ago, you already know that uh, when it is same size, mean immediately you must write, you got UF. Okay, every time you see same size, uh, straight away you jump to this conclusion. Object distance U equal to F, object distance now 30 cm. So you can find the focal length. Uh. So now the focal length is 15, uh, then you can see here. Focal length is 15, uh. here U is 10. 10 smaller than 15, so it's U smaller than F here. When U smaller than F, you know the answer here, right? Uh, you can refer back to your table, you check. Here, use 20. Uh, 20 bigger than the F, but smaller than 2F. Granite, 20 ma, bigger than the 15 here, but smaller than 2F. So between this one, 1F, 2F. Then you write the answer here. And the last one, 40. 40 yeah, is object distance. Nah bigger than 2f. f is 15, 2f is only 30. This is 40, ma. 40 is bigger than 2f. La. So when u bigger than 2f, what are the answer? Okay, you can write. Okay, please write it now. Everyone, refer to your table, go and check concave mirror, like you have a conclusion, all the table, in, all the characteristic inside the table, right? I refer to the table, write all the answer here. Now you can refer, you know, this in the exam, uh, you cannot refer already, you have to refer to your brain here. Okay, fill up the table, everyone, fill up the table first. Now, Siang, understand or not? Yes, sir. You understand, ah? Huh? Justin, okay or not? Understand? Uh, understand. Okay, okay. Xiaowei, Yong Xiaowei, do you understand? Yes. And, ah? Huh? Okay. Amy, Amy, uh, do you understand this or not? Amy, huh? Yeah. Then uh, you got all the answer already or not, Amy? Uh, Amy, got all the answer already? Uh, yeah. What's right, no? Amy, right here, ma. Right here, all the answer, right here and right here, huh? Kylie, finish or not? Huh? Kylie? Yes. Finish, huh? Yeah. Okay, come, we move on now. Now, question A. Can someone answer, please? Name the light phenomenon that involved to form the image by the mirror. Mirror form image are through what phenomenon? Huh? What answer? How mirror form the image are? Tian Liang. Can you answer? Reflection. Yes, reflection. Yes, very good. Can you? Reflection. Mirror reflect the light. Okay. Through reflecting the light, then you can form the image, right? Mirror. Mirror is reflection. But lens uh, is refraction. F R A C. So remember that. Mirror reflect. But lens are uh, the lens are uh, prism like that, uh, refract the light. Okay, next, this one we already calculated. 
We already calculated the focal length 15 cm, huh? so we share. So just put the answer here. Lah. Focal length 50, 15 cm. Okay. Next, give the reason for your answer. How to give the reason? Eh? Give the reason for this answer. Why the answer is 15? Nah? What reason you want to give here? What reason? Huh? Nicole. Okay, Nicole. Nah. Nicole, can you tell me why? What reason you can say F equal to 15? Eh? What reason, Nicole? Ah, Nicole. Nicole. Ah. Shani, what is the reason, Shani? Uh, Why you can say the answer for length 15? Eh? Because 2F is 30, ma. then 1F 15. Yes, correct, very good. Okay, now like that long. Because same sign as an object, then when image same sign as an object, right, then you can say, U equal to 2F. When U equal to 2F, then your F is 15. Nah. Okay, that's the reason. Nah. Because the image is same size as the object. Then you can say U equal to 2F. Nah. Okay. Okay, next one. The table completed already. And the final one asks you to draw object placed at a distance 50 cm from concave mirror M. M is which one? Eh? M is uh, with the focal length 15 cm one, correct or not? 15 cm. Focal length 15. Now, object placed at 50 cm. Or, so how you draw it? M uh, focal length 15. Now the object 50 cm. So you do like this now. Uh, okay, very, very far. Okay. So you see here, uh, you draw a line. So this is 1F 15. 2F is 30, right? And your 50 cm is here. The fog object is very far. Okay, your concave mirror is here. Concave mirror. 1F 15, 2F is 30. Now object 50 cm. So you put outside here. So you draw two lines. Ah. One horizontal reflect through focal point. Another one, the light go to the focal point, get reflected horizontally. Uh, intersecting point here. So this is an image you get. Okay. So this is a diagram. Okay. Uh? Understand it. Uh? Understand the diagram. Uh? Okay, done with the diagram. I hope everyone there la, don't charbot, you know, don't charbot or don't do something else. La, huh? Okay. You need to have uh, self-discipline. Okay. Self-discipline is very important. Huh? To them, wait, self-discipline, I remember. Okay, finish or not?
Chloe, Chloe Tan à, you finish à Chloe, finish or not? Can you answer me, Chloe, Chloe Tan? Tan à, Chloe à, one more question I want to ask you à, uh, you you did not come to take the paper là, uh, you you got printed out the paper or not? À, uh, Chloe, you got printed out the paper à, uh, then okay là. Uh. If you print out yourself, then okay, ah, huh? Chloe. Okay. Fine. You you can print out yourself. It's okay. 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 Come. One. What is the characteristics of the image? Ah, uh, this image. What are the characteristics? What are the characteristics? Can someone please answer? Ah. Uh, Kalai, can you answer what are the characteristics? Kalai, this image, what are the characteristics? Kalai, Kalai, are you there? Or? Um, real, inverted, and real, inverted, and one more. They manage. Yes, Kalai, they manage. So the answer is real, inverted, they manage. Okay. So the answer here, inverted, diminished, and real. Yeah. And last part of the question, what is the characteristics of image if the concave mirror replaced by convex? You should know the answer already. He told you many times. Convex mirror. If convex mirror, la, what should be the characteristic? Convex mirror always produce the same characteristics and you know, the same one. So what are the characteristics if you change to convex mirror? Huh? An answer? If convex uh, change to convex, uh, so what are the characteristics? Huh? Can someone answer? Okay, let me call this uh, Angel. Angel, can you come out, please? Angel. Angel. Uh, uh, if convex, uh, what are the answer? Virtual, upright, diminish. Virtual, upright. Upright and? Diminish. Yes, correct. Very good. Okay, thank you. Virtual. Upright, diminish. Okay, if convex, huh? so if convex, the answer is virtual upright diminish. Okay, okay. After this, uh, everybody get ready with a piece of full scrap paper to answer one long essay question. You must learn how to answer essay question. You know, okay. Can you take out one piece of full scrap paper, everybody? You need a full scrap paper. Don't jot down the answer on this piece of paper. Not enough one. You have to learn how to write on full scrap paper. This one is essay question. Okay. Yeah. Ready or not? The last question. On full scrap paper, nah. later I might, I might ask, call your name, I ask you to on your camera, show me your paper. Ah, then only you know, you know. Better get ready, get ready with your paper. Ah. Later I'll ask you to call on your camera, show me your paper. Nah. Can Leong, can or not? Can Leong, nah. huh? you got paper or not? Can Leong? Yeah. Can on camera show me? Huh? Uh, can you on your camera show me your paper? Oh, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, uh, okay. A camera or not? Um, I see his hand on it. Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. Good. Can you, you have your paper? Never so show your face, ah. Uh. I can you <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now my you show you got paper can already. Okay, come, let's answer the question. Huh? Figure show the parallel 
ray of light directed towards the mirror. This is convex mirror, concave mirror actually, concave. Okay, okay. Yeah. So now you see the two diagram. Uh. This one right curve less. This one curve more. When you see this one curve more, I see the focal length uh, very short. When this one curve less, right? The focal length is long. Uh, you see the difference? Uh? And now the first question. What is focal length? Can someone answer right on the paper? Right on your full scale paper. What is meant by focal length? Focal length is what? Ken Leong, uh, okay. Ken Leong, come on. Since you have the paper, can you answer? Ken Leong, uh, what is focal length? Uh? Focal length, I give it tips. Uh. Focal length is a distance between where and where. Or is a distance between what and what? Uh, what answer? Ken Leong? Distance between the focal point and the uh, mirror. And the one, uh? And the mirror. Okay. Uh, this point, P, uh, P, what is the name given to P? Pole P. of mirror. Huh? Pole of mirror. Yeah, correct, correct. Pole. Yes, correct. Thank you, Ken Leong. So the answer for focal length is distance between the focal point and the pole and the pole of the mirror. This is a distance between focal point and the pole. P O L E pole, huh? pole of the mirror. That's it, huh? Distance between the focal point and the pole of the mirror. Okay. Kylie, got it or not? Kylie? Yes. Kylie, can you read out your answer? What answer? Focal length is the distance between the focal point and the pole of the mirror. Yes, very good. Okay, very clear, Kylie. Very good. Thank you. Okay, next. Using figure A, B, compare the curvature of mirror and their focal length. Curvature. What is the meaning of curvature? Like compare the curvature of the focal length. The meaning of curvature is what? Okay, like this. La. Curvature, you can say la, curve less, this one curve more. Okay? So you can see la, the answer should be la, when the mirror curve more, or you say like this la, the more the mirror curve, ah, you write, everybody write the answer. The more the mirror curve, what happened? The more the mirror curve. When the mirror curve more, so what happened? The more the mirror curve. Shani, can you continue? Shani, uh, the more the mirror curve. Shani, uh, can you answer? Eh. The more the mirror curve. The focal length mirror. Yeah, correct. But you say like this. La. The more the mirror curve, right? The more the mirror curve, the shorter the focal length. Okay? The shorter the focal length. Okay? Yeah. Dana, everyone. Okay, next one, P. Uh, P, this one is a difficult question. SPM question, a bit difficult one. Or is here. Figure shows a cross section of the parabolic reflector used in the car heat lamp. Uh, this is a heat lamp in the car. They have a reflector here, this reflector. Parabolic shape reflector. Nah. The reflector function is to reflect the light 
nó là bao nhiêu xe mà có thu bao xe x y the light hit here like a reflected so it will reflect the light so you can brighten longer distance lock right and now you see that the heat lamp has two bulb x and y x is located at the focal point very important now at the focal point this one is located at the focal point but y above x y is not in the focal point x above the focal point so what happened then? Okay, come, I show you this one. Huh? The question asks, uh, explain what happened to the light from the bulb when only X is switched on, you only on this one. Uh, for your knowledge, uh, the car, right, they can on two different lamps, uh, lamp one, you know, if you're driving a car, you understand now. Uh. So there are two types of light. One is low light, one is high light, high beam. High beam means that the light go very far one. So this one usually not, not encourage you to on one, you know, because when you on the high light, uh, the high beam, the car from opposite coming one, I cannot see. So very dangerous. So one is high beam, one is low light. Normally we on the low light only. Low light going now only brighten about 50 meters only. Okay. So there are two. Uh. What happened to the light from the bulb? when x is switched on okay come i show you the diagram for no answer i show you the diagram see here now this one is about x this one is about y so what happened you see now because uh, about x is located at the focal point so mean the light will be reflected horizontally reflected horizontally because this one is focal point f okay Line from the focal point will reflect horizontal, reflect horizontal. A uh, horizontal means that uh, the light can travel long distance, long distance so the car can brighten very far distance, uh, very far. So meaning that uh, this one is high beam, high light, uh, the light can go very far one, very dangerous. But if you are traveling alone uh, in the midnight or early in the morning, no car come opposite side then you can on this light it's very clear very bright whereas when you on another bulb why right you cannot on two bulb at the same time one okay for your knowledge huh? you can only on one at one time understand now huh? you cannot on x and y at the same time one. no no car like that one you can only on x at one time or you can only on Y at one time. Okay, when you on the Y, Y does not at uh, focal point. If not at the focal point, means that they reflect the light down to the road. Down on down to the road now. Mean the light is low light, la, low light. Very low one. It can brighten about 50 meters only, not far. Because when Y is not at the focal point, the light will be focused down on the road. So this kind of line will not brighten very far, okay? So most of the time now the driver use this line on the low light. Unless you want to have highlight, I then you use this one. Yeah? So now can you take down diagram X and Y, take down these two diagram, then only you write the answer, okay? Copy the diagram. Ah, uh, like this lah, class, come. You follow what I say, huh? To answer the question, okay? You need to do this. Uh, you draw this diagram on your full scale, huh? Then you answer this one. You draw this diagram, then I give you the answer. Okay, come, you draw diagram X first. X, you draw diagram X now, okay? Draw, everyone draw. On full scale paper, okay? Draw this diagram. Then you answer part one, okay? Draw this diagram and then answer this one. Come on, come on.
Okay, finish the diagram, huh? Okay, come, write the answer. The answer for part one, huh? Okay, you write like this, huh? When bow X is switched on, when bow X is switched on, write the answer, huh? Later, I ask you to read now, huh? When bow X is switched on, the light, light reflected by the reflector horizontally. The light reflected by the reflector horizontally. Okay. The light reflected by the reflector horizontally. Come on. Light travel longer distance. Light travel longer distance. Therefore, bigger area is brightened. Therefore, bigger area is brightened. That's all, huh? That's answer for part one. What answer or not? Pretty now when I ask you, so you read out your answer. Okay, come. Don't so scared, lah, huh? Chao Xiang, Ong Chao Xiang, ah, are you there, Chao Xiang? Yes, sir. Chao Xiang, ah, can you read out your answer, Chao Xiang? When bulb X is switched on, the light reflected by the reflector horizontally. Mm -hmm. Light travel longer distance, therefore yes. bigger area is brightened. Yes, very good. Thank you very much, Chao Xiang. Yeah. Okay, and now we go to part two. Part two, you draw this diagram. Draw this diagram. Are you draw this? Then only we answer part two. Okay, come draw this diagram now on the full scale paper. Yeah, finish or not? Heaven, Thank you. Sir, finish or not? Heaven. Huh? Heaven, heaven. Heaven, heaven. Okay. Mei Hui, finish or not? Mei Hui, finish the diagram. Okay, good, huh? Mei Hui. Okay, uh, now you can write your answer. Uh, everyone follow uh, for part two. Uh, when bow Y is switch on, when bulb Y is switched on, 
the light reflected light reflected on the root surface light reflected on the root surface not horizontally uh, is reflected on the root surface by the reflector light reflected on the root surface by the reflector okay light reflected on the root surface by the reflector come on light travel shorter distance light travel shorter distance and therefore and therefore only short distance is brighter and therefore only short distance is brighter okay that's it yeah got the answer now okay let's hear from Kalai, Kalai, are you there, Kalai? Yes, sir. Kalai, can you read out your answer, Kalai? When bad boy is switched off, light reflected on the road surface by reflector, light travels shorter distance, therefore mm -hmm. only short distance is brighter. Yes, okay, thank you, Kalai, thank you very much. Okay, yeah. All right. Continue to the next question, uh, AC question. This one, 10 marks question, a lot of, a lot of marks here, no? And for this question, uh, okay, can you all read the question first? You may, no, no, this one, C, now we are talking about C, sorry, uh, C, okay? You are given two pieces of plain mirror mirror no no okay measuring five times six to make a periscope using this mirror and other material describe how you would make the periscope okay uh explain why the image observed through the periscope not clear and suggest modification to make it clearer lah. okay first of all draw a big diagram okay a periscope diagram there are two pieces of mirror, right? One you put here, uh, this one piece of mirror here. Another piece is here, uh, the mirror. So two pieces, uh, so using a cutboard, uh, this is a cutboard tube. Cut, use a cutboard to make a tube like this, uh, L-shaped tube, okay? Then two pieces of this uh, mirror are uh, fixed here, one piece here, another piece you fix here. Okay, uh, you draw this diagram first. Okay, draw the diagram, label, uh, you must label. This is mirror, this is cardboard. Uh, you must label. Okay, you draw the diagram first. Kelvin, no, I banged my leg into something, sorry. <laughs> ah, you bang on something? Ah? I bang my table. Okay, now my massage a bit, then okay already.
on your diagram, my you must label, you know. On here, you put object. Here, you put image. Here, you put eyes, observer side. Eyes, I didn't draw. The eyes is here, nah? Observer's eyes is here. And then this one, you put cardboard. Cardboard tube. This is the tube made from cardboard. Then here, this one is mirror. Okay? Mirror, nah? Plain mirror. Here also another piece of plain mirror. Okay. Label, you must label your diagram. Because when you label properly, it helps you a lot, much easier to explain. No? Okay. So you must label your diagram. Okay, finish or not? Shall we answer the question now? Part one is uh, describe how you would make the periscope. Uh, you just explain how you make it now. So ready or not, everyone? Ready? Kylie, ready or not? Yes. Ready? Ah? Okay, la, come. We, we start answer part one. Part one, uh, we just explain how to make only. So you say like this. Ah? Uh, L shape tube. L shape, we say this one L shape. Nah, huh? uh, L shape tube is made from cardboard a l shape tube is made from cardboard make from cardboard huh? must be a tube you know huh? okay okay next you write two plain mirrors are fixed Two plain mirrors are fixed inside the tube. Two pieces of plain mirrors are fixed inside the tube, inside the cardboard tube, sorry. Two pieces of plain mirrors are fixed inside the cardboard tube as shown in the diagram. As everything you just say, as shown in the diagram. That's why the diagram is very important. You don't need to describe furthermore, you say two pieces of plain mirrors are fixed inside the cardboard tube as shown in the diagram. That's all. Okay. Uh, that's all. So this is how you make the periscope mark finish already. Okay. So now we go to part two. Why the Okay, part two are not yet all. Then part one, I think you have to explain how the light moves. Huh? Okay. Because part two straight away, they ask you why the image is not good. So that means part one, you need to explain how the light go in and then to form the image. Okay, so you write like this. Huh? Continue with part one. So no. The periscope is focused. Periscope is focused to a distant object. Periscope is focused to a distant object. Comma. Light from the object. Light from the object 
enter into the periscope, light from the object, enter into the periscope, light from the object, enter into the periscope, and is reflected twice. And is reflected twice before and is reflected twice before go into the observer's eyes. Reflected twice before go into the observer's eyes. Okay, last, last you say like this, huh? The, someone asking question, uh, why? Can you repeat one more time? Uh? I repeat, uh -huh. okay, huh? So, I start from here, uh, live from the object, enter the periscope light from the object enter the periscope and is reflected twice reflected two times uh, reflected twice before go into the observer's eyes before go into the observer's eyes Before this sentence, okay, before it's like this, like you say, nah, the periscope is focused to a distant object. The periscope is focused to a distant object. Far object, lah, distant object. Yeah, got it or not, Dim? Okay, all right. Now, not finish yet, no. Then last sentence, you should write this, huh? The observer, observer, C. An image. The observer, C, an image of the object behind the second mirror. Okay. Observer see the image of the object from behind the second mirror. Behind the second mirror. Lah. This is first mirror. This is second mirror. Behind the second mirror. Okay. Ah? Got it? Okay, come. Now we go to part two. Uh. Part one, everyone finished already. Uh, now part two. Explain why the image observed through the periscope using mirror are not clear. Ah, this one I told you last time, why? Why is not clear? Eh? Okay, the answer is, you write the answer. Uh. Mirror, mirror person reflect light perfectly. Mirror person reflect light perfectly. Come on. Lesser light, lesser light enter the observer's eyes. Lesser light enter the observer's eyes. Hmm. 
okay, for the image is not clear. Okay, for the image is not clear. And one more answer now. One more answer you write like this lah. Mirror, periscope, mirror, periscope, produces, mirror, periscope, produces multiple images. Mirror, periscope, produces multiple images. Okay, that's all. You know why I got multiple images, right? Last lesson, I think I explained to you, right? Okay. Multiple images right, is because uh, mirror can reflect light from any, from all direction. From here, from here, from here, all direction, you can reflect the light. So meaning that uh, there's a lot of image can form here. Like, all the images are of overlapping each other because uh, one direction reflect, next direction reflect. So different, different reflection produce different images. So you have many, many uh, images form here. Lah. All the images are overlapping each other. So it become multiple image. So it's not clear. Okay, huh? All right, that's it. But all the answer already. Okay, part three now. Huh? Suggest modification that can be made to periscope to produce clearer and bigger image. You want clearer and then you want bigger too. Okay, clearer, very simple. Just take out the mirror and replace with what? Ah, huh, Kevin, how to make it clearer? You take out the mirror and replace with what? Kevin Lim? Glass prism. Yes, correct. So first answer you write like this. Lah. Replace the plane mirror. Replace the plane mirror by using glass prism. Replace the mirror by glass prism. G L A double S glass huh? prism. P R I S M. Okay. You know why, right? But here it just says suggest only, no need to explain now. Nah. Why using prism here is better than because ah, uh, prism reflect light perfectly. Perfect one. Why perfect? Because total internal reflection, but you still remember or not? I think it's still here. I don't know whether it's here or not. Uh. Hold on. Uh. I try to, to get the diagram for you. Prism one. Prism not here or not. The previous lesson, uh, many, not in this lesson, okay? You cannot find the picture here. Uh, huh? Okay. Your mind, uh, no? You you go and read that the previous I think uh, last two lesson prism ma uh, put prism here right so the light will reflect we call it total internal reflection you enter the glass prism and then never go out no the prism will reflect the light internally so that kind of reflection is called total internal reflection total means hundred percent perfect reflection uh. So more light can go into the eyes also, so it's brighter, okay? That's all, huh? Okay, next one suggestion is to make the image bigger, okay? You want bigger image, right? So what you do is, you put lens here, one convex lens here, another convex lens you put here. Put two pieces of convex lens, okay? Two pieces of convex lens, huh? The lens uh, will help to magnify the image. Okay, you don't need to explain now. Uh. In fact, uh, 
this lens uh, can focus more light come in. More light come in definitely will become brighter, right? So your second suggestion, uh, you say like this, dog. Place two convex lenses. Place two convex lenses. At the two ends, two n are e n d. Place two pieces of convex lenses at the two ends of the periscope. One end is here, another end is here, lah. Two ends, ah, e n d. Two ends. Place two convex lenses at two ends of the periscope. That's all. You put the lens here. Automatically, it becomes brighter, it becomes bigger. Because then the lens can enlarge the image, it can make the, big, the image bigger. Okay, lens. Huh? Okay, that's all. So we have finished this one. Any question here? Anyone don't get the answer? Anyone here don't get the answer? Sim, Sim Pun Keng, I get the answer or not? Sim Pun Keng. Pun Keng no sao or it are playing handful. Lo Yong Lo Yong Su. Got now the answer or not? Lo Yong Su. Yes. Got Go now? Ah. Okay, good. Okay, that's all. Huh? So we have finished this paper already. And now you can rest two minutes. You want to drink water, you want to go to the toilet. Okay, you go now. Okay, uh. okay, come. Uh, next one, please get ready this set of paper, everyone. You got this set of paper, right? This one is uh, set one. I think it's set one, correct or not? Set one, paper set one. This paper, uh, set one, uh, this is set one. Now, Sian, you have this paper now? Yes, sir. Mm, okay. Vivian, do you have this paper, Vivian? Yes. Sharis, Cherish? Cherish, you have this paper or not, Cherish? Yes, sir. Okay, lah. everybody got lah. Darren to got this paper or not? Darren. Set one. Okay, we start with set one. Darren, uh, got or not? Okay, let's see what Darren to type. Darren to say yes. Okay, good. Huh? Okay, uh, now you see that uh, I give you a lot of set, seven set of paper, you know, say set one, two, three, and you six get one set objective paper. Uh, no labor one. You can see uh, there's so a lot of these uh, essay question, structure question, uh, very, very long one, you know. Okay. Objective question is not a problem for you. Uh. I know you all know what is objective paper already. 
put it a paper two structure question and the essay question uh, you all need a lot of practice you know uh, then only you can uh, familiar yourself to answer the question you go back to school uh, immediately uh, you have exam already got the question already set by Japatan you know Japatan already set already sent to the school so the Japatan give instruction saying that uh, Buku pertama semua pemeriksaan. The letter already come, come to the came to the school already. Nah, all from one, uh, from two, from three, from four, from five. All your from five next year lah. First week straight away exam. Okay. So you are, you you must prepare to get this out question lah, or long question man. Okay ah, come let's answer the question. Diagram show a ticker tape. Uh, this is a ticker tape. You remember in chapter two or not the ticker tape? Uh, okay. Obtained by using moving trolley in an experiment using ticker timer. The ticker timer la, one second can punch 50 times and like that 50 times on. Ticker timer record 50 ticks per second. Uh, no? One second, uh, you can punch the paper 50 times. You know, very fast, one, 50 times. You see here, one, two, three, four, like there's so many. Uh. Okay. So now the question. The skill given show the length of the ticker tape. Uh, length, uh, 2 cm, 8 cm, 17 cm, and so on. Uh, length. So now the question. State of types of electric current used in ticker timer. I want to ask you one answer. Types of current used in a ticker timer. The ticker timer must able to vibrate one trrrr, like that vibrate. So must you what current? Uh, must you what current next? Angel? Angel on uh. What current must yes? Now my now my and here you cannot talk now my can you type type like can you type? I can't hear you now. Cherish ah, Cherish, can you can you help help to answer Cherish? Direct current. Direct current means current flow in one direction. If one direction can make the machine vibrate like this, and like that. Alternating current. Ah, yes. Alternating current. Justin already typed there. AC current. Yes, Justin, you are right. So the answer is alternating current. AC. Alternating current, uh, the current go, come back, go, come back, vibrating one, you know, it vibrate. So then only you make the machine to vibrate. Huh? So must you alternating current, AC current. Alternating current means the current flow in two directions. Go, come back, go, come back, two directions. Yeah. And you understand or not? Angel, I can't hear you. It's okay. But I, I can hear second time you say yes. Okay, come next. What is the meaning of one tick? One tick is what? What is the meaning of one tick? One tick is what? Eh? One tick is what? Remember or not? What is one? Huh? Uh, two point, two, two consecutive points. Half correct, Zhao Xiang. Yong Si, Lo Yong Si say, time interval between two subsequent dots. Yes, you are right, perfectly correct. Okay, Lo Yong Si. Okay, actually, one thing is like this, you know. From here to here la, is one tick. Here to here, another tick. So this is one tick, la. one tick, 
case one take. But one tick means sir, is a time no. Normally one tick equal to what time you know or not? One tick equal to how long? One tick, one tick. So uh, Justin said zero point zero two second. Yes, correct. One tick is equal to zero point zero two second. Okay. So meaning that uh, one tick is a time between two consecutive dots, which is 0 0.02 second. Uh. Okay, come, the answer is here. Okay. Yeah, so your answer must be like this, you know. Meaning of one thing is time taken between two consecutive dots. Here to here, what is the time taken is called take. Here to here, what is the time taken from one dot to one dot is one take. One tick la. So one tick is zero zero by zero two second. I remember just for your knowledge, you write it down la. One dot equal one tick, sorry, one tick equal to zero by zero two second. It's a time between two consecutive dots. Okay. Yeah, there's see SBM question like that one, no? Later on your final exam uh, next year, generally you can get this out question. Okay. Okay, next. I should draw the graph, the tip chart. The thicker tip obtained, then cut into five strips consisting three ticks. All the five strips are then pasted side by side to form a tip chart. Okay, now you see how you cut like this, you know. One, two, three, you cut. Three ticks you cut, huh? So one, two, three, cut again. One, two, three, cut again. All three la. One, two, three, cut. One, two, three, cut. You cut one, two, three, four, five. Five strip, and then you paste it on a graph paper. But you must see now here two cm. Then this one, this one, how many cm? First strip is two cm la. Second strip, how many cm? Now uh, wait, first strip here is 2 cm, then second strip is how many cm? Again, Loyong Si, 6, yes, correct. So this is 2 cm. This one is 6 cm. Then what about this one, the third one? 17 minus 6, so you get, I think it's 9, correct not? So you cut, 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 you paste lah. And uh, now you draw on the graph uh, you should get something like this i show you one second only you know later i, I won't let you copy uh, you'll see carefully uh. wait i show you one two second only later on you draw yourself uh. see carefully everyone ready uh. ready i should only show very short time only ready Okay, two seconds from now. Okay, you see, like that. Two, six, nine, eleven, twelve. Okay. Ready now? All right, now I don't let you see already. I cover it. Are you draw now? Draw later on. I will ask you to show me uh, on your camera, show me your graph. Oh yeah, a bit, a bit now, huh? okay. Draw carefully, use a ruler, use a pencil to draw.
that finish all right uh, before i ask you to show me i can i show you first lah you get something like this okay that's label lah this one 2 cm this one 6 cm this one 9 cm this one 11 and then the last one is 12 cm so all together you have five one two three four five five strips pretty a lot okay kevin have you finished kevin lim not yet sir not yet not yet a bit not more yet, not yet. Okay, finish. Kevin, finish or not? Finish, sir. Finish, sir. Uh. Kevin, uh, can you on your camera? Show show your graph to everybody, can or not? Try, uh. Okay, wow. Yes, very good. Tun, tun. Stop your hand to move. Yes, very clear. Okay, thank you very much, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Are you? Yeah, thank you, uh, Kevin. And one more, I want to see. Cheris, Cheris Lima. Cheris? Yes, sir. Can on camera show your graph or not? Okay. <laughs> slowly, slowly, yeah. Uh. Cheris? Slowly now, my. Ah, okay. Higher a little bit, move. Higher a little bit. Ah, yes, very clear. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, Cherish, thank you. Yeah. Okay, come, we move on now. Ah. Based on the tape chart, okay, based on this tape chart, uh, describe the motion. You can see here what types of motion. Eh? Describe the motion of the trolley. Oh. Okay, you can see here. Uh, here increases a lot. Then here getting lesser, lesser and lesser again. You see here. Uh, here increase more. Cannot draw, sorry, I'm very lousy. Okay, here increases more, less, less, and lesser, right? Not so when you join the center point, uh, you get this is a curve, you know, not a straight line, it's a curve. In fact, uh, this is a curve. So when when the increment getting lesser and lesser, uh, meaning that when the velocity the length getting longer, longer means it's getting faster, right? Not slower, faster, faster faster and fast isn't it getting longer means getting very fast but the speed that increases getting lesser no? at first here the speed increases so much here increases less right so in the case like this uh, what types of uh, motion of the trolley right? uh, what types of motion how to answer okay normally types of motion we say now uh, Velocity increasing, uh, acceleration, uh, or we say sometimes acceleration decreasing, uh, acceleration increasing. Uh. So this one is belong to which one? 
นะ someone try try ล่ะ just try can just type okay can you type someone try you type ล่ะแค่นั้นนะ what type of motion common commonly อ่ะ can you try common what type of motion อ่ะ common deceleration Deceleration, ah, if deceleration cannot be getting longer already, no. If the step getting longer means ah, here faster than here, here faster than here. It getting longer means it move faster, ma. But only thing ah, the increment of the speed ah less lah. So it's it's still accelerating, you know. It's acceleration because it's getting higher. Let's see, ah, Justin. Justin, give the answer. Justin, you are right. Justin, correct. Let's see, let me see one more time. One answer he put. Yes, correct. Okay, confirm your answer. Correct, Justin. Now, decreasing acceleration is accelerate. Accelerate, but the acceleration decreasing. The acceleration is decreasing. You know. It's accelerate, but the acceleration getting smaller, smaller, smaller lah. So decreasing acceleration. When you see ah, this is a curve like this, you know, it go down. Ah, okay, it go down like this. Decreasing acceleration. Okay, decreasing acceleration. Okay ah. So the answer, decreasing acceleration. Okay. Okay, next one. Question two now. Question number. Read the question. Two point one show a pistol. This is a pistol. Two point two show a bullet is fired. You see the bullet came out, but the pistol moved backward. This one moved forward. This one moved backward. The mass of pistol, this is 1.5 kilo, and the bullet 0.01, the bullet very light, 0.01 kilogram. This one is a pistol, this one is a bullet mass. Huh? After explosion, when we fire the bullet, huh? bullet move to the right, the gun move backward, uh, this is explosion. Huh? The pistol move with a speed 2. In the speed go backward too, and the bullet move forward very very fast. Three hundred, you know, you see, three hundred. The bullet move very fast. This one only two, but here three hundred. Now the question: What is the shape of the bullet? The bullet shape is what? The bullet shape must be easy, easy for the bullet to go fast. So must be what kind of shape? Aerodynamic. Yes, can it can be aerodynamic because it's moving in the air, ma. Aerodynamic. Or uh, the best you say streamline shape, streamline. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Justin. So it's streamline, stream ma. Streamline means it aerodynamic shape, la. Okay. Okay, next. What is the momentum of the pistol? What is the momentum of the pistol? Eh? Diagram 2.1 here. Here nothing happened. No, nothing happened. So what is the momentum? When nothing happened, nah, what is the momentum? Huh? Yongsi said zero. Yes, Lo Yongsi, you are right. Zero. Because no movement, nothing is moved. No movement now is zero. Lah. Momentum our formula is um, V. You must have velocity. You must have mass. You must have velocity. Then only have momentum. But this one got mass, but no velocity. Not moving. 
no moving mà no velocity so no momentum no zero kia yeah. and based on diagram 2.2 this diagram ah uh, compare they ask you to compare the direction of the momentum of bullet and a pistol bullet go to the right the sun bullet uh, pistol go to the left so can you com compare the direction so one answer zero opposite direction mark right not one go to left one go to right so the answer is opposite opposite direction not the spelling is wrong opposite direction opposite direction okay one go to the left one go to the right so it's opposite direction na. okay next the answer is already there. The magnitude of momentum for a bullet and pistol. So the answer equal. Must be equal, you know. The momentum go to the right and the momentum go to the left must be equal one. You know why must be equal, right? Everyone know or not? Why the momentum must be equal? Why the momentum go to the right, the bullet, and the momentum go to the left of the pistol must be equal? Someone type here. Now, Justin types again. Justin say, principle of conservation of momentum. Yes, correct. Principle of conservation of momentum say, now. momentum, because uh, you see, uh, initially the momentum zero. When the momentum zero means uh, after the explosion, uh, the momentum must also become zero one. How to make it zero? Eh? When one go to the right, one go to the left. So to make it zero means uh, they must have same. Uh, this one positive, this one negative. Positive momentum plus negative momentum, it becomes zero. Correct? No? So still remains the same. Still zero. So meaning that uh, momentum go to the right, positive and momentum go to the left negative must be equal must be equal because uh, you get positive plus negative so it becomes zero so the momentum is conserved this why principle of conservation of momentum say that momentum must always remain the same okay, huh? okay next what is the total momentum i told you already just now zero okay what is the total momentum of a pistol bullet after explosion? It must be zero. Because the momentum of started with zero. The first diagram zero ma. So the second diagram the momentum cannot change sign. Okay. So zero ah. Next question. Okay, now. Diagram show a boy launching a water rocket. So is this boy pump, 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 then suddenly release, uh, so the rocket fly. The rocket will fly one, it will fly very, very far one. Okay. So when this boy pump the water, uh, okay. When he pump, uh, so the water inside there got high pressure, you know. Inside the water, uh, the air compress the water, so it become high pressure. When the pressure is very high already, suddenly you release that. Uh, when you release a waft, there's a waft there but never show that. Uh, so the water and the air will come out. It will come out to produce backward momentum. So when there's a backward momentum, a forward momentum must be produced and then to bring the rocket fly in front. So you have backward momentum when the water and the gas come out then you have forward momentum. So we bring the rocket fly. Lah. Okay, ah. So now the question. Explain why the water bottle rocket move forward. Okay, please everyone think. Learn how to answer. Can someone please answer? Explain. So 
So how to answer it? I'd let you think one minute, sir. Later, ask you. You try to tell me your answer. Now, just try. No, you wrong. Now, my don't worry. Okay, come. Chen Liang, can you come up? Chen Liang? Chen Liang, ah? Ah, yes. Chen Liang, can you try? I want to hear. You got any idea or not how to answer? Uh, when, the air, when the air is coming to the water bottle, oh. okay, a high pressure is produced. The pressure uh -huh. pushes the water out, producing backward momentum. And based on the principle of conservation of momentum, a forward thrust is produced and pushes the water rocket to fly. Yes, very good answer, Ken Yong. Thank you very much. Exactly, uh, his answer everything correct you now. Okay, come on. Uh, now you see the answer. His answer is almost like this. Lah. High pressure air inside the bottle will push the water to produce high momentum downward the momentum go down lah, huh? high pressure air inside water push the water to produce high momentum downward so momentum go down go backward okay high momentum downward so produce an equal momentum of water rocket but in opposite direction i uh, produce just now downward momentum now they will be a forward momentum not upward momentum okay produce an equal momentum of water rocket but in opposite direction and this forward momentum uh, you bring the rocket fly okay that's the answer okay But it uh, class are uh, normally like this, you know, you see, uh, if the question say two marks uh, mean expected two points, one, you know, you must write two points to get two marks. If four marks mean you have to write four points, you know, four ideas. If four marks are two marks, you write one answer only. That means you only get one, you cannot get full. You must have different ideas. Uh, Two ideas to get two marks. Yeah. Okay, come, let's uh, move to the next one. Question number three now. Uh, this is what topic one? Do you remember this or not? What topic? 
Uh, what topic are uh, why? Okay, come. Justin say heat. Lim Chia Xian say chapter four. Yes, correct. Chapter four. Chapter four is heat la. H E A T heat. Okay, come. Let's see the question. Akram carry out experiment to investigate change in temperature of liquid X here and Y. You want to see la change in temperature? You already know la. This one the temperature go up higher. You see high temperature. This one the temperature go up a little bit only low. Both liquids are heated by identical heater. The heater same one, you know. This one same one. These two heated for five minutes. All heated for five minutes. Five minutes temperature go up a lot. This one five minutes heat temperature go up a little bit only. Initial temperature thirty. 30 degrees starting is 30 degree ah huh? then this one go up very high this one only go up a little bit water same you know 200 gram here 200 gram it seems like the water less but it's the same 200 gram the water here 200 gram here also 200 gram okay see or not it's given then uh, no heat loss i mean all the heat here used to heat up the water all the heat here heat up the water no heat loss so now the question asks, uh, what is meant by specific heat capacity? What is specific heat capacity? You remember the answer or not? Specific heat capacity answer is what? What is the meaning of specific heat capacity? Now you see the answer. Heat energy required to raise, to raise, the spelling is not correct, to raise the temperature of one kilogram of substance by one degree Celsius. This is a heat energy required to raise, to raise the temperature of one kilogram of substance by one degree Celsius. Remember, you know, to heat up one kilogram of substance by one degree how much energy needed so that is called specific heat capacity okay understand huh? it's a heat energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of substance by one degree so i said one kilo one degree so remember that how much energy you need that one is called specific heat capacity yeah okay next question compare the mass of liquid x and the mass same la 200 200 is already given there la, huh? 200 200 grams of same so the answer equal okay equal Uh, 200 gram 200 gram so equal okay next change in temperature a uh, change in temperature x higher than y you see here this one temperature go higher this one lower right so x temperature higher than y lah. okay so the answer is X bigger than Y. X bigger than Y. Okay, the rest are equal, equal. Okay, come. Y equal, equal. Let me see. Why this one is equal? Amount of heat supplied by the heater, so equal. Lah, because same heater, right? Both also same heater, so equal. Next. Amount of heat absorbed by X and Y also equal. Because no heat loss. You know, heat loss means uh, all the heater, all the energy supplied by heater must be absorbed, mass, so must be equal. Lah. Correct? Not? And name the physical that explain the phenomenon. So we already know the answer specific heat capacity. Okay? 
specific capacity. And the last one, D, why the answer is this length? So what the question asks, you see, if the heating time increased by 10 minutes, you increase the time, is there any change in the physical quantity mentioned? Mention 3C means the specific capacity. Nah? Will you change the specific heat capacity or not? Yeah, well, I, because uh, the values of specific capacity for a substance uh, actually is fixed one, you know. Uh, water, 4,200. Oil, maybe 900. It's different one, you know, fixed one. So it doesn't, how, it doesn't matter how long you keep it. Like, it won't change the specific heat capacity. So the answer is no changes because the value of specific capacity or substance is constant. Okay. Okay, copy down all the answer. Yeah, come. Now question four. Uh, question four is chapter you have just learned one. Okay, see, uh, diagram 5.1, 5.2 show light like ray from two identical objects. Okay, now you compare the two diagrams. I think it's smaller now. Nah. Okay. Identical object means the object here, object here, same one. Uh, you see, uh, this length thicker, this length thinner. You see, uh, thicker lens, uh, the focal length short, you see, shorter. Thinner lens, uh, the focal length is longer, you see, very long, focal length. Okay. Both of the lenses produce virtual image, uh, now on the left side. All virtual. Uh. You remember or not how to draw? You see the first one horizontal go to focal point. Lens ah, uh, lens ah, uh, you allow the light to go to one and all, but it bend the light, so it's called refract the light. This one go to so optical center in the straight line. No, here image. This one image is here. Okay, you study the two diagram uh, later on. They ask you to compare or not thing one. You know, okay, please uh, see carefully the diagram ah. Uh. Object distance. Okay, now first question. What does it mean by virtual? Uh, virtual is what? Image that cannot be formed or projected on the screen. Uh, Justin, you are right. Very good. Image cannot be captured on the screen. You put a screen here, uh, you cannot capture the image one. No way, because there's no light here. Uh. No light means... Uh, the image is virtual one, fake one, cannot be captured. Cannot be captured on a screen is virtual. Eh? Only the real image, eh? real image formed by actual light. Then only you can capture the image. So what's real image? Okay. All right, next. Observe, state the difference between, I see, there are a lot of things. Different between the size of the image. State the difference between the size of the image. You see carefully the size of the image. This one small, this one big, correct? Right? So you know the answer already. Right? This one image big, this one image small. So 5.1 bigger than 5.2. Okay. Image in 5.1 bigger than image diagram 5.2. Okay. Huh? Mm-hmm.
So all this compare, compare one, uh, you all must get it right, you know. Next, so object distance, same. Object distance, same, equal. Okay, you can see here, man, it's the same. Man. Object from the land, uh, same, né? object from the land, same distance. Okay, same distance, uh. object distance, same. Same, equal. Okay, the image distance, Ah, you see carefully the image distance V. Then someone answer. Kalai, Kalai, are you there? Kalai, Kalai, ah. Yes, sir. Kalai, can you answer this? Ah, the image distance V comparing the two diagram. Um, the image distance in five point one is uh bigger than five point two. Yes, Kalai, very good. Thank you. Image distance in 5.1 is further, okay? 5.1 further lah. Further, you see here, ma. This one image further from the land. This one image nearer to the land. So this is further than this, okay? Ah? So the answer, image distance 5.1 is further, okay? Next. Name the relationship between the image size and the image distance. Ha. What is the relation between the image size and the image distance? See, observe the diagram. The size, you see, uh, when the size is big, the image distance also further. The image is small, when this is nearer to the land. So, so how to give answer? Eh? How to give answer? Uh, Chin Yi Hong. Chin Yi Hong, uh, can you hear me or not? Chin Yi Hong. Lim, Lim Yi Wei, can you hear me? Lim Yi Wei, ah. Uh, uh, Lim Yi Wei, can you answer? Uh, the greater the image size, the further the image distance. Yes, the answer is correct. Lah. But one thing I want to ask you all, lah, which one should come first? Lah? The image distance come first or the image dis size of the image come first? Eh? No, Yong Su, your answer same same as uh, same as Lim Yi Wen, Lim Yi Wei Wen, same. But now I'm asking you all, uh, which one is supposed to be mentioned first? Some, something like which one is meruplated, which one is responding, which one affecting which one actually? Now another one answer is he, Justin say object distance is an MV. Yes, correct. So meaning that uh, object distance is a one who makes the size of the image different, correct not? So you should say, you should say the object distance, uh, you should say, sorry, you should say the image distance first. Lah. Uh, image distance, it will affect the size of the image, isn't it? So the answer is like this. Lah. The shorter the image distance, the smaller the image. Wrong, this answer is wrong. Ah, yes, correct. The shorter the image distance, the smaller the image or directly proportional. The shorter the image distance, the smaller the image. The longer the image distance, the bigger the image. I will say like that. Okay. Yeah. The shorter the image distance, the smaller the image. Or you say the other way around. Lah. The longer the image distance, the bigger the size of the image. Okay. Then uh, so far can follow or not? Mandy. Mandy can follow. Mandy T. Uh, Mandy, no sound. Uh, Mandy, very fast type. Yes, uh, Mandy, thank you. Okay. Uh? Mandy, why always do you want to talk me? Mandy, why always do you want to type your name? <laughs> okay, come next. 
based on your answer 5b and c b and c r just now uh, write an equation to show the relationship between the magnifications m of object distance and the image distance uh, this one i don't want to give you the answer you tell me then you write actually they ask you to write the formula la. formula to find the linear magnification someone already typed justin so fast justin give the answer already yes correct justin this answer m equal to v over u linear magnification equal to image distance v divided by object distance you have learned this formula already right linear magnification v over u huh? okay Okay, C now. Half of the lens cover with a piece of black paper. You cover half. Okay, what happened to the image? Remember or not? This I think I told you all before. One, you cover half. So what happened to the image? You cover half of it. Or so what happened? Will the image still form? Oh, now they ask you what happened to the image. How? Who want to give answer? Type like you don't want to talk, you can type a mentite type. No image form. A law say no image form. Law, no, 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 no. Okay, actually, the, the answer is. The image still form as usual, but the only difference is the image uh, become dimmer. The image become dimmer, la, correct? Uh, Justin said correct. The brightness reduce. The brightness of the image reduce. The image still can form one, you know, because you block half, uh, light still can go through from the other half. Uh, so the light still can go through from the image, but the only thing is the image form is dimmer because lesser light. When less light, right, so it becomes dimmer. Okay, so the brightness will reduce. Uh, explain your answer. So what answer? Eh? Why the brightness will reduce? Why? Why brightness will reduce? Then I uh, want to hear from. Vivian, Vivian, ah. Vivian, can you come out, Vivian? No sound. Sherry's ah, Sherry Slim, right? Sherry Slim, ah. Why brightness reduce, Sherry? Ah, Sherry's ah. Light only come in from one direction, ah. Then, yeah, la, correct, la. light coming from one part, another part, no light, isn't it? Only half part of light, another half part, no light. So what happened? The brightness reduced. Yeah, la, is, the reason is lesser light. Just say lesser light. Because the image are formed by lesser light. Only half of the light, correct not? If half the light go in only, so of course, it become dimmer la. okay ah? okay i think we can go on one more question uh, this one still remember this is what wavelength of monochromatic light okay uh, i hope you all remember all these things now this is why we need to do revision, you know, before your try exam, before your exam. If no revision, I don't know what happened to you all, no. Here come. Study the question. 
6.1, 6.2 experiment to determine the wavelengths of monochromatic light. We want to find the wavelength, the lambda, wavelength of the monochromatic light. 6.1 use blue light, uh, this one blue color one. This one blue color light, you get this one. And 6.2 use a red light, red color one, uh, you see? Blue one, uh, very narrow. Okay, whereas uh, red light, uh, the gap is bigger. Okay. Yeah, now the question. The separation between the two slit A, no here, uh, two slit separation here, A, A is here. And the distance between the double slit and the screen is D. I mean, from here to the screen, from here to the screen is D, uh, this is D. Okay, from here to here, to the screen. So this one is D, the distance. This one is A. Separation, this is distant T, okay? The dark and the bright fringes are produced. So you have dark, you have bright, you have dark, you have bright, isn't it? Okay, now question. What is meant by monochromatic light? Monochromatic is what? Yong Su say one color, one wavelength. Yes, correct. Okay, light which has one wavelength or one color. Okay, that's why we call it monochromatic. One wavelength or one color. Okay, huh? the next one, compare the wavelength of red light, blue light. Who is bigger wavelength? Red light or blue light? Lao Xiang, Lao Xiang ah, red yes, light sir. blue. Which one the lambda picker? Uh, red light. Yes, correct. Red light picker than the blue light. So first one ah, wavelength of the red light picker than the blue light. Okay. The next. Based on the pattern of the fringe fringes form, uh, two observations about the distance between the consecutive fringes. You are asked to say distance between the fringes for red and the blue. They ask you to give two observations regarding the distance between the fringes. Okay. So how to keep two points here? They got two observations on uh, the answer here. The distance between the consecutive bright fringes for red light more than that of blue light. Okay, the distance is bigger. La. The distance between the consecutive bright fringes for same light are constant. So two answers, you know. You copy the answer first, later I, I explain. Distance between consecutive bright fringes for red light is more than the blue light. Second answer, the distance between the consecutive bright fringes for the same light are constant. Same light constant means I if red, red color one or same law. The blue color one, the distance or same. Okay, that's the meaning. Distance between consecutive bright fringes for same lights are constant. If red light, all the distance same. If blue light, all the distance same. Like that. That's the meaning, huh? Understand, huh? Okay, come. Next move. Relationship between the wavelength and the distance. So you say the longer the wavelength, the longer the distance between the consecutive bright fringes. Because, huh? The formula you learn lambda 
equal a x over t. You learn this formula and the relationship between the wavelength lambda and the separate uh, this uh, distance between two consecutive bright, which is x directly proportional. My you see here, so lambda is directly proportional to the x. Okay. That's why we say the longer the wavelength, the longer the distance between consecutive bright fringes because lambda big, so the x is also big because it's directly proportional. Okay, the longer the wavelength, the longer the distance between the bright fringes. Please jot out this, uh, this formula very important lambda equal to ax over t and lambda proportional to the x. Okay. Okay, finish. Okay, come next. What happened to the distance between two consecutive bright if the separation slip increase? The gap, the gap distance bigger. This slit right here. This double slit, okay? The two slit here, the distance become bigger. This one is A, okay? A. A, yeah. When the A getting bigger, what happened to the X? They ask you. Now you see the formula, A and X. So the distance between two consecutive bright fringes will decrease because uh, when you bring the A over, you want to see the A and the X, right? So the formula become lambda. The A you have to bring over here now. You must put one on the left, one on the right, then we can see X is here. And T. E. Uh, in that case, you see uh, between A and the X, so the relation is inversely proportional. One down, one up. So the relation is not directly, it's inversely. Lah. Okay. So meaning that distance between two consecutive will be decreased when the A, because the relationship is inversely proportional, okay? Distance between two consecutive bright fringes decrease. Right? Next, give a reason. It is inversely proportional, okay? A is inversely proportional to x copy down this on this side uh, formula la. a is inversely proportional to x okay i think we stop here la, huh? okay got the answer already everybody yeah so i stop here la. okay now now come back here everyone Okay, don't worry that the I will I recorded the video. If you did not get all the answer, I will put this in the YouTube later on now, but not today. Lah, huh? Okay. So thank you everybody. Thank you for follow this lesson. Okay. If you focus in this lesson, lah, I'm sure you have learned something now. Huh? Okay. I hope everybody will Justin say when increase, decrease. Can Justin can. Justin, can your, your, your answer is correct, Justin. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody. Okay, please focus. La, huh? Okay, focus. Continue to study la, huh? and take good care of yourself. Okay, stay home, stay safe, everybody. Okay, I see you again next lesson. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, sir. Thank you, okay, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank bye, you, bye, sir. bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Huh? Okay, bye-bye.